Hello, welcome to this video playing Shacho, probably. That's not the real pronunciation, but I cannot cannot do any better. So let's go. Queen's Gambit, Bishop F4. Yeah, the C5 line. I really have to refresh my knowledge there. I'm absolutely. I'm still playing a line there that is quite outdated with C takes D5. Queen C2 is supposed to be better, but I don't know the details. Yeah, I mean this line is not bad but it is uh, not as promising as the um, current main lines. That was um, in fashion uh, like maybe eight to 10 years ago. But nowadays I think it's pretty, pretty uh, satisfactory for black. Okay, so we got this traded. Trying to play rook d1, increase the pressure. An interesting um, position type arises after d4, after which I can, well, Normally, white goes e4, which is um, the interesting position type I was referring to. And here I'm actually feel slightly tempted to just take. Oh, okay, it's 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 very drawish. If I take, very drawish. Okay, so rook d1, queen d7. I actually think is surprising due to a number of reasons. Bishop g5 is in, is a move now, after which he has to go f6. I also have knight e5, and now this is what I'm going to play. Just trading stuff. And he's not close to playing d4 here, absolutely not. Queen b6 is an idea. So he's um, giving up a pawn. Very, very likely he will have enough play for it. Mm -hmm. So rook c8, rook c8, queen d5, takes, takes, rook c3 at the end. Mm. Yeah, that is very drawish. Hmm. Maybe this is a little bit more challenging. Yeah, I thought rook d5 now is a little bit more. Or is he just moving the queen? That's possible. A queen to e6. And then queen d4. Yeah, it's a pawn. Rook c5, rook d7 uh, should give me slight winning chances. Rook a3, there is a4, I thought. And I have chances to win the second pawn. And in fact, I don't see how he is not losing a second pawn at the moment. So 
So rook d6. This rook a3. Okay. b6 is a good move, I think. Okay, I can check on d8 first. And rook to d6. Hmm. It's still, it's still a draw, unfortunately. Check. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, rook b8, it's still a draw. Maybe rook d5, trying for... Maybe this is still giving... I mean, it's probably a draw anyway, but... Maybe this is giving some additional problems. Idea is a5. Nah. It's also a draw, <laughs> but okay. It's just how it is with many rook endings. Um. Check. Time warning. Check. Yeah, it's not much to not much to say. He can just stay. Check. Three against two is uh, very drawish. <laughs> Check. Yeah, it's just a draw. You can play rook uh, rook to the fifth, for example. Check. <clears throat> Check. Check. Game drawn. Yeah, the, the drawing margin is very high in those rook endings. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing from this position, but it's um, it's probably the best that I can get. Yeah, like that. This is this is going to be liquidated, and then you will draw with four against three. I tried a little bit with this. Yeah, taking with the pawn, maybe maybe this is an idea. Yeah, I mean, I can do this and we have basically the same position as in the game. This is going to be traded and then four against three is a draw. It's not, not much to do. The double pawn is no problem at all for him. Huh. Yeah, maybe I still should have tried that with H with G4 here coming up. You can go G5 and F6 probably and it's still very comfortable.
yeah, it is just a draw. I tried a Check. little bit with those pawn moves, but they they actually they, they don't change at all Check. the situation. Hmm. It's really also not much that you can do. The computers are constantly misevaluating the situation here, by the way. If you give it to an engine here, I've got stockfish in the background, it gives 1.6, which is ridiculous. It's completely dead this position. Nothing happens here. Yeah, okay, anyway, that was a pretty correct draw, I think. I mean, it felt like I should get more, but um, I, I didn't, didn't get anything. Okay, well, thanks for watching.